Here's the top five mistakes people make when designing for t-shirts. Number one, not designing for the correct printing process. The two main t-shirt printing processes could not be more different. Screen printing is the proven classic. And when designing for screen printing, you're limited to color counts and blending colors such as gradients and halftones. DTG or direct to garment printers print the image digitally, kind of like an inkjet printer. So they have less color limitations, but of course they have their own challenges. Knowing what kind of printing process your t-shirt will be printed with will help you avoid some mistakes and bad print quality. Number two, not designing for the t-shirt color. Knowing what color your t-shirt will be not only helps you by reducing the color count by allowing you to drop one color to the t-shirt, it also helps you know what colors to use. Not necessarily just for what looks good, but some t-shirt colors like red can cause problems like migration after the garment's washed, turning white inks into pink. This also applies to the fabrication of the shirt. Doing some research on cotton poly blends will really help you understand their printing limitations. Number three, using too many colors. If you're screen printing, using too many colors can drive your costs way up. Most shops charge a per color setup fee, as well as charging you every time they have to physically print another color on your t-shirt. Try not to use too many colors that are similar to each other and see if you can merge or combine them. For example, if you have grass and trees and they're two different shades of green, see if you can make them the same color and you could potentially save yourself hundreds of dollars in production costs. Number four, bad composition and off-balance design. This one's a little subjective, but in general, it's a good idea to design with balance. If there's like large wide text on the top of your shirt and then a really skinny character under it, it kind of makes an awkward shape, drawing unwanted attention to how the design looks. Adding a shape or rectangle behind the character will give it some depth and reduce the awkwardness. A good rule of thumb is to envision an invisible rectangle and try to fill that space with either design elements or the white space between those elements. Number five, low quality art files. When I made my first t-shirt, I had no idea what DPI or resolution was. My printer told me that my art file was unusable because it was 72 DPI. I had no idea what this meant, so I Googled how to make it 300 DPI, and that's how I discovered Photoshop and changed my life forever. Always make sure you know your file size and resolution requirements for your printing process before you begin your design and plan accordingly. It's good practice to create your design file at the actual print size, even if you're doing vector art in Illustrator. This also prevents you from creating details that are too small to actually be able to be printed. Designing t-shirts shouldn't have too many rules, but when it comes to the actual technical process of printing, there's a few things that you definitely want to understand before getting into it. Just do all the research you can, reach out to your printer and ask them any questions that you have about the specifics of their machinery and the way that they print t-shirts. A lot of processes and requirements vary from shop to shop, so just make sure that you know everything they need from you to make your prints look the best quality possible. Make sure you like and subscribe to get more tips and tutorials. And when your t-shirt design is done, watch this video so you can make your own photorealistic t-shirt mockups.